let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on the sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane to Drop your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic scuba. Get it, Arnold. You know how Wanda gets during a Molly Kuhl song. I know, I know. I just want to ask her one thing. Hello! That's to the very last bit! Huh? Wanda! I know you love Molly Kuhl, and she's performing in Walkerville tonight, but why does that mean we have to have a car wash? Because that's how I'll get to meet Molly. She always has her car washed before a concert. Miss Frizzle? Hello, class. Ready to swish and dab, swipe and wipe, take chances, meet Molly, and clean something messy. Yeah! yeah! Climb aboard, class. They're incredible! Yeah, too incredible! What if Molly doesn't notice ours? Oh, but she will! Way to go, boss! <gasps> Here she comes! I've waited all my life for this moment! Let's start cleaning! Nope. Uh -uh, no way. Hmm, now that's my kind of car wash. <gasps> She's stopping. Val Gal, is that you? Huh? Val Gal? Good golly, Miss Molly. It's been a long time. I get the blues just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, class, meet Molly. She toured with me and my band. She toured with you in your band? That's right. I was one of the original Frizzlettes. Well, Wanda here is your biggest fan, aren't you, Wanda? That's right, Miss Kuehl. I just love your music. I know all your songs, and I, I think you're the greatest. Why, thanks a heat, Gumdrop. That's really sweet. Uh-oh, I'm late, and my concert starts in one hour. And, ugh, my car's still a mess. And you know how I love my car to be clean. Please let us clean it. Please, please, uh, we'll clean it down to the very last bit. That's music to my ears. The job's yours. Yay! Oh, but there's just one little thing, sweetie. Whatever you do, do not get my hood ornament wet. As you can see, it's a crystal. Wow! And my new song is dedicated to it, so I need it for my show. What is it made of, Miss Kuehl? That's my little secret, sugar. <gasps> is it just me? Or did one of the hottest music stars around just call you sugar? I'm counting on you kids to make it clean with a sheen. Right, Val Gal? Consider it done, Mal. Well, it's time to find the rest of the band. Be back in a few. Not clean, 
not clean, not clean. Hmm, you can say that again. Not clean. I keep wetting the tires down, but nothing happens. Where's the soap? Soap? I didn't use any. Don't you listen to Mr. Soapy commercials, Ralphie? You need water and soap to lift the dirt away. Okay, slip me some soap. Slipping you some soap, Ralphie. Whee! Check it out. The soap makes suds. And when you add water... All the dirt slips away. Oh, a spotless discovery, Ralphie. It's the slipperiness of the soap that lets suds clean duds. Then pass me a ton of suds, because there's tar all over this hood. We gotta get it off. Molly hates tar. Oh, don't you know that I want you to go, but you're sticking to me like tar. That oughta do it. I pronounce this card clean, clean, clean. Down to the very last bit? Mm. I think so, Miss Kewl. As my old pal Valgal would say, sometimes to see it all, you got to see it small. Oh, why, Molly, you still have the mega magnifier I gave you. Good, good, <gasps> not good. There's still a speck of tar on my car. <gasps> there is! Listen, sweets, since you're new at this, I'll give you another chance. But the concert starts in half an hour, and I need my car by then. Right, no problem. Gotta go do a sound check. Later, Val Gal. I don't see any tar. If Mommy says there's tar, there's tar. Sometimes to see it all, you gotta get quite small. To the bus. We can't go on a field trip now. What if Molly comes back and we're not here? Good thinking, Arnold. You stay here and stall her. Me? Why me? Because she's sweet on you, sugar. Uh, don't worry, Arnold. We won't be far away. You'll hear us, and we'll hear you. Right, Liz? But... Boogie on down, bus, to the very last bit. We have to get smaller. You see the tar now, Wanda? Not yet. Whoa, we're so small, the threads in that rag look like trees. We need to get smaller. We still can't see any tar. Then hyper, hyper small it is. Where'd they go? Where are you guys? Wow! It looks like we're in tile land. Oh, these aren't tiles, Ralphie. It's the paint on Molly's car. No way! These things don't look like the paint on Molly's car. They're all hard red pieces. That's because when you shrink really, really small and see paint really, really close, it is in pieces. But we've been tiny before, and things never looked like this. Maybe we've never been quite this small. How much did we shrink? According to the shrinker scope, we shrank down one millionth our normal size. That's small. So, when you shrink about as small as you can shrink, and get down to the very last bit, you can see that everything is made up of tiny little bits. Oh, amazing, isn't it? And the little bits are called molecules. Then molecules must be like building blocks. Each one by itself is too small to look like what you're building, but put them together and there it is. A smashing discovery, don't you think? And everything in the world is made up of molecules. Well, if everything is made up of molecules, wouldn't the tar be made up of molecules, too? Right on target, Phoebe. Hey, look over there! Is that tar? Here they are! Cool! Hold it! These can't be tar molecules. 
If you could lift them this easily, tar wouldn't stick to things and be so hard to clean off. Keisha's right. These molecules are long and limp. Tar isn't limp. If this isn't tar, then what is it? Long, limp, loose? I know. Maybe these are molecules from that rag I left on the car. Oh, cunningly concluded, Keisha. It's the properties of the molecules that make things what they are, be they rag or bag. So if tar molecules make tar what it is, then the molecules we're looking for should be dark and sticky. Yeah! Tar molecules dead ahead! They found the tar! Come on, guys, let's pick up those molecules! Careful, Liz, you might step on somebody. Step on who, sugar? Molly! Where is everybody? You kids are supposed to be cleaning up that tar. We're just taking a small break. Yeah, that's it. Well, it better be small. We're running out of time. I'm sure they won't be much longer, Miss Kewel. I read you, sugar. Now I'm headed back to my hotel to get ready. Then I'll be back from my car, and I expect it to be clean, clean, clean. Hear me? Yes, ma'am. Come on, you guys, get rid of that tar. We hear you, Arnold. Come on, guys, pull. Ugh. We're pulling, but these tar molecules are really stuck. Yuck. Where's Mr. Soapy when you need him? That's empty, eh? You need water and soap to lift the dirt away. Hey, if it works in the big world, why not here? Sounds like a plan. But where do we get soap and water now? Well, we just used soap and water to wash this car. Maybe there's still some around. Where are we going to find it? All aboard! Hey, where are you guys going? Where no kid has gone before, Arnold. Well, hurry up. Molly could be back any minute. Molecules on the left. Molecules on the right. But are they soap and are they water? Why, well, guess when you can make a mess. Bail out! Whoa, these molecules are splashy and hard to hold on to. Then these must be water molecules. And how about these molecules over here? Whoa! I'd say these yellow things are soap molecules! Soap acts just like they do. Slippery! Look at how the soap molecules latch onto the water molecules. But how will we carry them all the way back to the tar? Maybe the bus can lend a hand. A big one! Let's All clean right. some tar! Whatever you do, just do it now! Okay, bus, spill your stuff. Wow! The soap molecules are grabbing onto the tar molecules. Awesome! They're peeling the tar right off the car. It's just like the commercial says. Soap and water really do lift the dirt away. And it's the action of the molecules that make it happen. Man, talk about action. How's that for a grabber? Now what? We don't have any water left. Oh, not a problem, Wanda. Who needs water when you've got a major collection of cotton cellulose fibers? Huh? A rag. But aren't we a little too small to drag that thing all the way over here? Oh, we're not all small. Oh, Arnold. Can you hear me, Arnold? Loud and clear, Ms. Frizzle. What's happening? I heard you say something about a rag. It's on the hood. See it? We see it. Could you please give the hood a little wipe? If you say so, ready or not, here it comes. Watch out. Clean down to the very last bit and ready for 
Molly. All aboard, class. We're moving out. We did it! Every last bit of the tar is gone. <laughs> Thanks to you, I. That red came down, and before we knew it, the soap and water and tar molecules were history! No! <gasps> Where's Molly's crystal hood ornament? Oh no, it disappeared. Are you sure you saw the ornament go in the bucket? Then where is it? Well, as my sweet Aunt Confection says, when things disappear in water, there must be a solution. Do you think Molly's ornament could have dissolved in the water? But how could it? What was it made of? Wait a minute. What is it made of, Miss Kuehl? That's my little secret, sugar. What? What? It's made of sugar! Of course! Molly even dedicated her song to it. I love your sugar, down to the very last bit. Yum! The sugar's here, all right. We'll have to find another sugar crystal to replace Molly's ornament. We don't have time. Wait, wait, wait. Since all the sugar molecules are in there, why don't we put them back together into the crystal they came from? You mean, rebuild it? But how? We'll just get small again and go in there and round up the sugar molecules. A uh, honey of an idea, Wanda. In fact, it's delicious. <gasps> to the sweetest bus in town. Hey, not again! Keep Molly busy. <laughs> They're sugar molecules, all right. This bucket's full of sugar molecules. Look at them all. Please hurry. Oh, I will. Because <gasps> if I don't drive on stage soon, my fans will disappear faster than sugar and water. Uh, hi. We uh, just need one more little minute. Oh, no, you don't, sugar pie. Yeah, that nasty tar is gone, gone, gone. So it's time for me to rock and roll. Thanks, sugar. What do I owe you? Oh, look. You smudged the handle. If only there was some way to get rid of these water molecules. Hmm, how about saturation separation via vehicular intervention? Huh? One water ridder gripper coming right up. Cool, the bus is getting rid of the water. Start stacking. That's fine, sugar, but now I gotta go. I can't even wait for my pal Valgal and the other kids to get back. I take it my crystal hood ornament's all right. It's uh, fine. Wait, you can't take that guitar on stage. I can't. Why not? It's filthy. <laughs> Yeah. We've got 20 sugar molecules piled up. And only a million quadrillion to go. Wait a minute. It looks like the sugar molecules are starting to stack by themselves. Oh, they are indeed, Keisha. They're crystallizing, forming a crystal. It's the Big Rock Candy Mountain. I guess sugar molecules stack themselves together when there's nothing in the way to stop them. Who knew? Then let's get out of the way and let this crystal make my day. How's that? Whoa, I've never had a guitar so shiny. Now I've really got to go. No, I mean, just one more spot. Arnold, sweetie, you're gonna polish the strings clean off of that thing. Molly, you still here? Don't you have places to go and concerts to give? You know I do, Val Gal, but Arnie here was just doing a little extra detailing. 
Right, Sugar? So, Miss Q, what do you think? Why, Wanda, my car looks fantastic. Better than ever. And you did it all without hurting my beautiful crystal one little bit. That it's showtime! Really time. It's showtime! Hey, all you sweet things out there, this song is dedicated to Ms. Frizzle's class. It's called Down to the Very Last Bit, and I'd like to perform this song with a little help from my friends. See, my eyes are acting like a pair of crazy fools. Cause when I look at you, I see a bunch of molecules. Yeah. So many micro, many molecules I see. A million, zillion, trillion, twenty billion and three. And baby, no, I love you down to the very last bit. Well, there are molecules. I'm listening to the concert. Can you call back when it's over? I'll be quick. But... No what's about it. No real bits either. Your show is wrong, wrong, wrong. What do you mean? You said when you get down to the very last bit, you end up with molecules. But molecules aren't the smallest bits there are. Atoms are smaller. Molecules are made up of atoms. That's exactly right. Atoms are smaller than molecules, and molecules are made up of atoms. But molecules are the smallest bits that give things their basic properties. You mean the way water molecules make water flow and pour? Yep, and soap molecules make soap slip and slide around in the water. So, a thing's molecules give it its characteristics, its personality. Correct. Molecules are cool. They totally rule. Bye. Magic school bus. Is everything in the whole really made of molecules? Yes, everything is made of molecules and atoms. Your shoes, your friends, your toothpaste, your popcorn. Thanks for calling. Goodbye. The building blocks of everything on Earth. A molecule is a little bit of the universe. Sign wave, 
Swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigate a nostril. Climb on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Take that. On the magic school bus. Drop the river of lava. <laughs> on the magic school bus. Such a fine thing to do. <laughs> so strap your bones right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild 